Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel Aquarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the sign of Aquarius, please. Thank you so much Aquarius for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Aquarius for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Aquarius, please click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? Let's look into what's coming towards you in love, career, money, and general inspirationship. This is your next 24 hours reading or dailies, okay? Let me just um, look into my spreadsheet. Yes, you are scheduled for next 24 hours. I hope you are okay. What can I get for the sign of Aquarius, please? Let's look into the recent past, the current energies, and the immediate future. I'm also going to be doing your energy checked in. So let's see what is coming towards you. Wow, you have a Ten of Cups. You have a Ten of Cups. Oh, it went away. The one that got away. And now, the Nine of Pentacles in here. I feel like there is a change in terms of your social media. Okay? You have the Hierophant card, Commitment. You have the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This is quite heavy in terms of your energy check in. You have the High Priestess, the Page of Cups, and you've got the Empress card in here. And so we start your reading. So you have a Ten of Cups. Um, I could feel Aquarius that you're really putting a lot of hard work Okay, in terms of your communication skills, um, the Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, I feel like the last time, like, I feel like there's something in your energy that you're figuring it out. When was the last time you were so happy? Like, um, there's something in your, in today's reading, I could feel that you miss being with this person. You miss being around with people that makes you happy, or maybe there is a specific person in here that... You know, Ten of Cups, I want to experience this again with this person. Or it could be a general feeling of, I want to feel happy, sunshine. You know, like your inner child, your true intuitive nature, your higher self, your inner child is really wanting to feel the Ten of Cups. I want to be happy. You know, I'm, I'm like, it's not connected to happiness and money. It's like genuinely emotional Full, like feeling emotionally fulfilled and happy and connected uh, for some of you it's been a while six of swords uh, nine of pentacles wow money is good i could feel like money money comes in money comes out okay so there's so much fin i could feel that you have financial stability uh, there's financial challenge but there's also financial stability i could i could feel aquarius that okay i've got this money challenge or financial challenge but you manage to like you manage your finances if there is a challenge in your money stability um you manage it you fix it okay if there's a part of you that you're somehow wishing and hoping to improve like your higher self priority is that I want to be emotionally fulfilled. I want to be surrounded by people connection that genuinely makes me happy. So there is a, there is a lot of impersonal energy around you. It could be that you work, you work, you chat digitally. Okay. So for some of you, a lot of your people interaction is connected to work. Okay. So at work, you talk about just work, little little about personal and emotional and life so you're missing there's a part of you that you miss talking to someone deeply you miss sharing your feelings emotions experience i mean you connect with people at work but it's not deep conversation uh, for some of you you want to be surrounded by friends or family or a special person where you feel deeply connected or there's some sort of romantic inspiration in here with the ten of cups what is so bold okay what is so bold and so strong about your reading aquarius is that you're starting to cultivate and like you're starting to you're starting to feel this impersonal vibe around you 
and you're cultivating thoughts and action on how to make it more personal okay like you know that there is a gap because this is like um you have an appetite to connect emotionally to share life experience uh, maybe romantic inspiration but there's something that you want to do in a more personal level you know you don't just want to talk to this person professionally you also would like to have a personal touch maybe in the past you know in the last three to four days three to four weeks you've been just about chatting digitally you have lost the touch in here or personal touch you know that and i see you hierophant card making time for professional and personal connection you know for some of you you could be doing a lot of work from home so the nine of swords the hierophant card you're starting to feel you know information like information like digital digital impersonal information that is not really connecting to the depth the core of your soul and you're gonna change it so ten of wands I feel like you're gonna push yourself out of this repetitive cycle where it's impersonal it's chat uh, same old people where you talk about professional same old people where you talk about the same subject the same stuff you're yearning and looking and you would like to immerse yourself with something soul something romantic interest something deep conversation there's a thirst in here and you're manifesting that person okay i could strongly pick up intuitively the next three seven ten days your social platform, your social connectivity, your social time, the people that you connect socially, your social awareness and intuitive awareness socially, it's gonna change it's gonna change. You're gonna you're gonna change this. Okay. This is just like this reading is all about this reading is all about you creating a breakthrough about social, intuitive depth emotional support emotional connectivity okay there's something more than just talking digitally chat and talking personally profession money finances there's something soul and inspiration and romantic interest that you would like to push yourself or immerse yourself in here um especially the high priestess i think you're gonna start with with the high priestess I think you're gonna start to manifest people connection that's gonna give you the deep conversation people connection that really inspire you people connection that does not just talk about professional or money or stability people connection that gets into your soul in here Aquarius you're gonna ma you're, you're you want to connect and manifest deep conversation not robots okay high priestess and you have one page of cups the Empress card so this reading it looks like you're going to launch okay it looks like you're going to completely move away from a repetitive cycle or it's like a plug and play or the usual way of you hanging out uh, social connectivity you're gonna move away from that you're gonna completely change the way you communicate the way you find people the way you connect with people okay you're manifesting a person that with well first of all you have a page of cups this is what's coming towards you and this page of cups this is a beautiful person so you have someone in mind or you will find you will find a person maybe one maybe two maybe three but you will find a person that will inspire you that will make you feel alive that will make you feel connected to your soul you will find a person this reading is finding the right person to immerse yourself with soulful conversation inspiration and romantic I would say you would move on from the usual people that you talk to and you're gonna find someone new something new something exciting and you have one in the horizon you know you have a page of cups this is what's coming towards you're manifesting it now something tells me it's like sunshine there is a fault in the stars and I know that the fault in the stars that I've been stuck with the same old group the same kind of situation and I haven't put an action to respark it you know and you will now 
you're committed to spark your social connectivity your social engagement you're gonna make time socially and you also use a lot of your energetic intuition to manifest the person that you will connect deeply romantically not just some flirt or hi hello deep and you've got one in here with the page of cups the empress card this is a beautiful soul not just a beautiful person but a beautiful soul is coming your way you're calling upon this you're calling upon a soulmate you're calling upon a beautiful soul i think this empress card it's already connected to you but you have not really talk to them or initiate the conversation or you have not engaged to them properly but you have a beautiful soul connected to you you're calling upon a soulmate and you have one this could be a friendship soulmate this could be a romantic soulmate this could also be a family soulmate but you have a beautiful soul connected to you i could feel that you're going to respark reignite it or make time with a soulmate in here calling upon a soulmate look at that for some of you guys this is connected to work so for some of you you met someone connected to work or you're going to meet someone connected to work and it's going to reignite your passion to connect personally not just all not just digitally for some of you there's something very personal about your reading wow you have two so i feel like this page of cups this page of cups is someone in the past already that you can just call them, text them, reconnect with them, and it's gonna fill in your ten of cups. But this one is this one is quite new, the Empress card. Let's look at the someone is coming. It's a soulmate, it's a beautiful soul. Five of Swords and the Tower card. So for some of you guys, the next two to three weeks, Page of Cups, this is something or someone that you kinda need to initiate okay the page of cups this is a person that can really reignite this page of cups contribute to an emotional fulfillment inspiration romantic it looks like you're the one who's going to initiate with the page of cups and then after a couple of weeks there is a soulmate coming with the emp it's a beautiful soul it's not just a soulmate but it's a beautiful soul i feel like the five of swords the tower card if you want to change your social interaction and social in like there's something in here that it's like it's a call to action Aquarius okay like I'm really picking up a strong vibe it's a call to action if you want to trigger change the change needs to happen within you first before it comes out around you so there are some things in your social engagement communication people network people connection that you have to make time that you have to initiate and reignite it okay this empress card this beautiful soulmate or beautiful soul is going to connect with you don't lose it be engaged okay make time with communication respark reignite initiate it so for some of you your social network your social engagement it's gonna blow up because you're making time okay so it's all about social connection one you have to initiate this one if you want to feel the ten of cups the other one it looks like it's gonna come for you it's gonna connect for you you don't have to search for it it will come for you I feel like the universe the five of swords right now the universe is realign realigning the path to meet the soulmate could be the same person but it could be different okay so go and reignite and respark your social engagement it's time to be socially immersed and intuitive so you can have a deep conversation deep chat and connect something like there's some people connection that you're thirsty to feel it to experience again the ten of cups in here and this is what i have for you guys thank you so much aquarius for supporting the channel thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me click the bell click subscribe and i'll see you soon again guys you have a great day bye aquarius